It's just finished. Manchester City 2, Chelsea 0 at the Etihad Stadium in a third round of the Carabao Cup. We are out of the cup. We have suffered another defeat and not a great night for us all in all. Um, disappointing. I'm not really sure how I feel about it because on the one hand, it's going to be less fixtures going forward for us um, after the World Cup. But then on the flip side, it's an opportunity, a trophy gone. It was an opportunity that, you know, to progress in the cup, which would have been nice for us. You know, we need some, it'd be great to get some silverware. Um, you know, we're on a domestic trophy for a while now. So it's on the flip side, it's sad that opportunity is, is now gone for us. Truth be told, it was always going to be a difficult night tonight. Um, City away for the worst draw you can get, even though with rotated sides on, on, on from both teams, it was still going to be a real big ask for us, given the form that we're in, given the golfing class between the two sides, given the golfing class between the qualities in the squad, if we're being perfectly honest. But it, it was a strange game because I felt, you know, we started the game not well. City started really quickly. We really struggled down that right-hand side. Uh, Ziyech not giving Loftus-Cheek enough help. Uh, Gomez and um, Grealish having a field day there, always 2v1 with him. Chalaba having to come across the cover, leaving lots of space in the middle for City to exploit, which they did. Obviously, they didn't get the goal in the first half, but they played really well. But then... We also had really good moments in that first half. Um, we, we we really did. We should have probably scored at least once, maybe even twice. Christian Pulisic having a really good opportunity, I think, from a Hakim Ziyech pullback. Some nice work down that right-hand side. Probably the only good thing that right-hand side did really in the game because it did really struggle and it was pretty poor, if we're being perfectly honest. Ruben just isn't up to it defensively. But yeah, Pulisic had to be burying that. Um, really not a good finish. Um, but... I mean the one the one bright spark for sure for Lewis Hall was absolutely superb tonight. He's a he's a future star in the making. He, 18 years of age and he showed more, you know, more uh, more fearless play than, than anyone else. You know, he was fearless. He was taking people on. His range of passing was superb. He wasn't afraid to have a go. Um, he was absolutely outstanding tonight. I mean, I, it was, should should have been man of the match for me. He was the best player on the pitch by a mile, certainly for Chelsea. Overall, maybe you could argue that a couple of City players maybe went close. Ortega was good. Grealish was very good as well tonight. But Lewis Hall was absolutely superb. And given Chilwell's injury as well, you would expect Lewis Hall to be more involved within the first team squad now and, and get more first team minutes. I mean, I'm not saying that he should start on Saturday against Newcastle, but he should certainly be in that match day squad. He was the real big bright spark. And I'm surprised it's taken so long for us to see him uh, from when he last played for the first team in the FA Cup against Chesterfield last season. I thought we would have seen him more recently than now, but he's been doing really well in the development sides and he took his opportunity tonight really, really well. I think he would have really impressed the manager uh, with, with what he did tonight and he should be getting further first team opportunities. And I think he should be getting some minutes against Newcastle, but he was the one real big positive. But... Yeah, the first half, I don't know, we should, we should have scored. We should have been, to go in level wasn't bad. But then same old Chelsea, you know, we come out at half time and, you know, we just throw the game away. Within four and a half minutes, we can see two goals and it's sloppy. It's giving the ball away. It's making stupid fouls in dangerous areas, you know, things that we've got to stop doing. Um, and within so within two, within four and a half minutes at the start of the second half, uh, well, 10, 15 minutes into the second half, sorry, you know, it was it was just pathetic from us. It was really, really poor. And it just goes to highlight the poor form that we're in at the moment. You know, it goes to highlight the lack of confidence. The players aren't really good enough, if we're being perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, the free kick itself, all right, it's a good strike from Mares. But what is Kulabai doing in the wall? I mean, his nickname supposedly the wall. That was utterly pathetic from him today. Really, really awful in that in that wall to not jump. If he jumps, he blocks that. Why why he hasn't jumped is completely beyond me. And, he, and he's cost us the goal there. You know, he's cost us that goal. I'm not saying, you know, if he jumps and he blocks and it doesn't go in, we win the match or anything like that. But, you know, it's really, really poor from him. And you expect so much better from an experienced pro. And that that was really, really disappointing to see him, you know, not jump in, in the wall, not show that commitment. Particularly when you've got that number 26 on your back. You've got to do basic things like jump in the wall because you know damn well that JT would have been doing that. But yeah, really disappointing from that. It's a good strike from Mares, but... He should have been blocked by the wall. And then you're thinking, right, we're one down. Just stay in it. Play play yourself into a little bit. Have some possession of the ball. Don't do anything stupid like giving the ball away. And that's exactly what we do. Ball gets given away. City break. Mendy makes a half-decent save. It comes to Alvarez. He's alert. He's switched on. And, and he sweeps it home. And at that point, the game's finished. The game's done. We've been put to bed. And it's, it's, it's just the difference between the two sides. City are ruthless and clinical. 
and we are anything but that. You know, we actually created chances tonight. We, we we did, and we had opportunities to score, but we cannot score. It's literally, it's either we either create no chances or we create opportunities and we don't score. I, that, for whatever reason, we just cannot seem to stick the ball in the back of the net at the moment. And that that is a real big concern heading forward. Lewis Hall had two superb opportunities. I'm not going to criticise him for missing them because he was absolutely outstanding tonight. But he should have... The, the second one's more tricky in the, in the second half. And Ortega makes a good save, but you really feel he showed great composure in that with that first one in the first half to take the touch and to set himself up for the opportunity. And he probably should have finished it. But all in all, I felt... I don't know. I felt encouraging in moments, but still concerning in, in, in other moments. And ultimately, you know, despite the fact that we we had moments tonight and we, we played half decent in that first half, the second half really wasn't great. And it's another defeat. It's another game without victory. I know we've, we've beaten Zagreb, but we haven't beat, we, you know, it's one win in the, what, the last five games or something, I think, you know, draws to Brentford and Man United, lost to Brighton. Yes, we beat Zagreb, lost to Arsenal lose to City. We're, we're on a real bad losing run at the moment. I think Potter's going to have to really think long and hard about things and try try and switch things up. I felt the players that came in tonight did decent. I mean, I was disappointed that ZH died, but I felt he had an okay game. Zakaria, not too bad. Broya was promising. Um, one thing I really wasn't happy with was, was, was with uh, the last substitution. Why, when you're 2-0 down the game's done, are you not putting Amari Hutchinson on? Why are you putting on Havertz? I thought it was really cowardly from Potter. You know, he's saying in the press that they're going to be involved, him and Lewis Hall. And yet, when the game's dead and it's a chance for Hutchinson to get some minutes in, in, in the cup and you don't give them to him, I think that's really bad taste from Potter and uh, I, I didn't like that. But ultimately, we've lost again. Um, there, there were better moments from us and it was much better than the Arsenal game on Sunday. But it is another defeat and it's another game where we haven't looked like score. Well, we did, sorry, we, we did look like we looked like scoring tonight, but we just couldn't get it done. So it... It is a big concern. We've got a difficult game heading into Newcastle on, on Saturday. There are moments when we were good tonight, moments when we were not so good. And then those moments, you know, we got punished. And that's the difference between the sides at the moment. City take their opportunities and they punish you. We don't take our opportunities and we don't punish the opposition and we make sloppy mistakes. And ultimately, that is not a, a winning recipe for winning football matches. But promising tonight, but realistically, you know, Mendy was also superb, I might add. Um, when he was when he with 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 shot stopping great fantastic tonight made some really important saves to keep the deficit down. Um, but when the ball's at his feet, oh God, he's not good at all, is he? He, he strikes me. Uh, he makes me very worried. But yeah, all in all, a disappointing night. Some positives. Lewis Hall looks like he's going to be a superstar. But the same old problems at Chelsea. And we move on to Newcastle on Saturday. Hopefully, we can get a positive result and then we can just head into the World Cup and forget about these last few games. But as always, guys, up the shells.